how to convert smart objects back to layers in Photoshop 220 and beyond. Just going to create a smart object. Very hard to convert it back to a normal layer if there is no smart object to work with. So I'm just going to create a very quick circle using the ellipse tool. And what I'm going to do then is go to smart objects and convert to smart object. Now that was originally a shape layer, so it's now a smart object. See over there, you go over to the layers panel and you will see a little smart object thumbnail. Just there, smart object thumbnail. So how to convert it back to a normal layer? Well, you can double click the smart object thumbnail and break it down. You can now convert it to layers without going through that process. So via the properties and that convert to layers. Also right side menu of the layers panel and convert to layers and layer menu. If you go down and you go down to the smart objects, there's an option down the bottom, convert to layers. That one's quite useful sometimes. The one in the properties is quite useful. Sometimes it's not so useful. So window and layers and properties. They're the key panels. Now to break that one down, I'm just going to quickly go and click the convert to layers and that's it. It's just done. It, nothing else happens. It's just becomes a normal layer again. You can create more complicated ones. You can create multi smart object layers. So you can have smart object of a smart object of a smart object of a smart object. And that can combine many other things. So I'm just going creating a shape layer with that ellipse. And again, layer and smart objects and convert to a smart object. Then maybe add a style to it, layer style. Um, I'm going to go with bevel emboss. You could go with stroke, whatever. Click OK. Again, convert that to a smart object just to make it more complex. You might never do this. You might never make it three or four levels. So it's really useful for one or two levels. Now duplicate the design using the alter option key and when you drag with the move tool or use the layer menu and smart and uh, duplicate. Then use layer and smart objects and convert to smart object. So both those now are combined into a single smart object. Now I'm duplicating that again using the alter option key. And again, you can go to layer menu, smart objects and convert to smart objects. So they're all converted to a smart object, one single smart object. And again, you can go to layer menu, layer style, bevel and boss. Add an additional bevel to that. So you can create some very unusual shapes using that approach. Gradient overlay as well. Click OK. Then layer menu. I'm just going. This is a bit extreme. I'm certain you will never do this. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. So I've created a multi, multi, multi smart object. Now I can break it down by using just double clicking the smart objects, but I can use convert to layers. Now it doesn't do the whole lot in one quick go. It'd be nice if it did, but it doesn't. It doesn't convert all of them to layers. But it breaks down each time. So click it. And you'll see now you've got another smart object. Click that again. And now you'll see you've got a group. So it's created a group now. Break, it's broken it down into a group. And they again additional two smart objects. So select one of those smart objects. You can select both. Now if you select both, you'll notice the properties panel loses its use. For some weird reason, you can't, doesn't let the button remain. So, But you can go to layer menu and smart objects and convert to smart uh, layers. And again, actually it's convert smart object to smart object because it's not converted to layers yet. So now you can see you've got, again, you've got that structure of those groups. You've got, so you've got groups and you've got a group within that. And again, you can select that one. You can select the other smart object as well. 
and the other smart objects. So once you've done that, you can go to the, again, you can see properties is no use. So layer menu, smart objects, and convert to layers. And it will break that down again. It takes a few seconds to do that. And again, there's still smart objects, so convert to smart objects. And again, you can do exactly the same as before. Select all of those smart objects within that structure, or you could do it individually if you wish. Some weird reason it gave it a selection. Now, I don't want that, so I'll just remove that selection. Again, select all of those smart objects. Yep, select that one. So they're all selected now. Get rid of the selection, select and deselect. Don't know why that appeared. And now a layer menu and smart objects and convert to layers yet again. And it will gain process it. you can see it takes a few seconds. And now it's down to its lowest level. You've got all those layers broken down. It is a pity the command doesn't do the complete conversion all the way through. So it's a two or three. And if you create say 20 levels of smart objects, you'd have to do the same. And of course now you can tweak the designs, you can modify things, change things. Anyway, this is a new feature of Photoshop 220. I have found it doesn't work in every situation. For some weird reason suddenly it will break it down, say type or something, break it down to a certain level and it won't break it down any further. And in that case, the only solution is to go back to the old approach of double clicking the smart object thumbnail. Maybe that's a bug and maybe it'll be fixed in future versions. I don't know. So again, layer and smart objects, convert to a smart object. Now, you want to convert it back to a layer as before, just simply. So that's all you have to do now. Click the convert to layers and the property panels generally is the most useful way of doing it. But if, if you've got complexity with two or three objects, then the layer menu is probably better, is better. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, as well as Illustrator and many others. Also, please add some comments. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.